Hi, it's Amanda the Nail Polish Hound and welcome to this video where I will be showing you my Nicole Diary stamping plates. I have a few of the round ones and the first is Fantastic Trip ND003 and I bought this one for the image in the top left hand corner. I really like it, it's very pretty, haven't used any of the other images yet but I will be keeping this plate. Then we have Nicole Diary 119 and this obviously is a weather images plate. I really like these, particularly the clouds, very helpful images to have um, and I will be keeping this plate too. And then we have Romantic 05 and I bought this one for the hearts along the left hand side although I do really like the tree image at the top there as well and the heart towards the middle. I uh, haven't used this one yet but I expect this one will come out next Valentine's and I will be keeping this plate too. Then I have one of the small square plates, this is Nicole Diary 101 and it is one of my favourite nail stamping plates. I really like the images on this one and I have used it several times already. Um, definitely going to be keeping this one. Then we have Nicole Diary 113 and I bought this one uh, for the interesting animal print images which are a little bit different to some of the other animal print stamping plates that I already have. I also like the double stamping availability for the leopard print, I thought that might be useful. Generally speaking I think this is a pretty nice plate and as I said a little bit different from everything else I own so I will be keeping this one. Then we have Nicole Diary 114 um, and it's got these sort of twisted line images on it. I have used this one and uh, I've got several other plates that have got similar images. This plate's also got some random cats and dolphins on it as well, uh, which might be useful, particularly the layered dolphin. Um, and some of these prints at the bottom I have tried using and the ones with straight lines I find very difficult to use on my nails uh, because my nails are very curved, so the lines never look straight. However, I will be keeping this plate. Then we have Nicole Diary 130 and I really like the images on this plate. They are all polar themed uh, with polar bears, penguins um, and it's just really really cute. Um, some ice images there as well and I will be keeping this plate too. Then we have Nicole Diary 076 and this is mostly a sort of textured images um, and I was really getting into doing marble type nails and that's the reason why I bought this one. Um, haven't done any recently and haven't got around to using this plate um, but I do like all the images on it and I will definitely be keeping it. Then we have Animal World ND001 and I specifically bought this plate for the tiger image uh, on the top row there and uh, there's a little bit of an issue that I didn't think about and that is the size of my nails. Um, I'll show you that in a minute but here are the rest of the images in close up. It is a really nice plate um, with some lovely images on it, um, however um, my nails are really quite tiny and uh, they are far too big for the size of my nail bed um, so unfortunately I'm going to be de-stashing this one. Then we have Animal World ND002 and I think I picked this one up for the cute little elephant wearing the crown. Um, there's some other nice animal prints on this one as well but I feel I have got other similar types of prints on other plates and therefore I'm going to be de-stashing this one. <music> the 
the last of my small rectangular um, plates is Tropical Collection ND002 and I have used this one. I really like um, the images on this one uh, for doing tropical manis of course. Um, not quite sure what the zebra is doing on their mind um, but I do like these images and I'm definitely going to be keeping this plate. And finally I have a couple of the larger rectangular plates. This one is L10 and it has got some beautiful savannah type images on it and some nature images. I really like this plate and I've used it several times already. I'll show you all of the images in close up. And finally we have Nicole Diary L12 and this is a Halloween plate um, and I used this one a lot last Halloween. Most of the images on this one are fairly unique um, and really good quality. They come out really well when you stamp them. So I'll show you again all of the images close up. The ones that I feel are not quite so unique though are these pumpkin images. I'm pretty sure I've got them on another plate somewhere. Um, but other than that, I think this one um, has got some unusual and different images on it and I will definitely be keeping it. So I will be de-stashing two of my Nicole Diary stamping plates. So that's four nil stamping plates de-stashed so far this year. Um, I'm thinking about going back to the origins of my stamping plate collection for my next video. Um, and I hope to have that one for you sometime soon. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.